John G. Miller, QBQ. The Question Behind the Question, Practicing Personal Accountability in Work and in Life. In the fast-paced and demanding world we live in, taking personal accountability is more important than ever, and John G. Miller's QBQ. The question behind the question, practicing personal accountability in work and in life shows us just how crucial it is. This book summary highlights how asking the right questions, QBQs or the question behind the question, not only helps resolve issues but also enables a person to take control of their thoughts and actions. Through embracing accountability and focusing on solutions, Miller's lessons provide practical advice to improve both our personal and professional lives, fostering a better understanding of our choices and their impact on the world around us. The Power of Asking the Right Questions The book emphasizes the importance of personal accountability, urging individuals to ask the question behind the question, QBQ, when facing problems at work or in life. Instead of blaming others, people must take responsibility for their choices and actions. By asking constructive questions like, what can I do to improve this situation, and how can I contribute, individuals can bring positive change to their organizations and personal life. The QBQ tactic helps people avoid negative thinking and take action towards their goals, leading to a more fulfilling and successful life. Improve Accountability The power of accountable questions for individual and organizational growth is unparalleled. Instead of asking negative questions, change the narrative to accountable questions that prioritize personal responsibility, action, and problem-solving. This approach boosts productivity and develops a functional working relationship between management and employees. When we consciously take responsibility for our actions, we foster a culture of accountability, leading to positive growth in our organizations and personal lives. Mastering Your Thoughts The book emphasizes that our thoughts shape our lives, and we should take control of them to lead a fulfilling life full of better decision-making and positive emotions. The author introduces the concept of QBQ and stresses the importance of asking better questions to get better answers. We are accountable for our choices and can choose to react positively to negative situations. The book encourages readers to discipline their minds to reject negative thoughts and embrace a positive mindset to avoid stress. Asking the right questions The key to asking effective questions is to keep them focused on action and use what or how with the inclusion of I in the sentence. Avoid using why, when, who, or third-person pronouns like, they, or, them. By following these guidelines, you can uncover the true intention behind the question and find ways to take appropriate action. Empowering yourself with better questions. The book emphasizes on asking better questions to take control of one's life and not to indulge in victim thinking. It highlights that starting questions with, why, makes us feel powerless, and, when, leads to procrastination. Instead, questions that begin with what or how help us find concrete solutions and adapt to changes. The author emphasizes the importance of avoiding blame and victimhood and how collaborating and being creative is the key to problem solving. Succeed with what you have. Stop focusing on what's missing and make the most of what you do have to achieve your goals. In their book, The authors advise readers to avoid wasting time and energy on what they lack and instead identify what they already possess. Rather than seeking perfection or better resources, succeed within the box by using available tools to get the job done well. This approach also encourages appreciating team members' strengths and gifts, promoting teamwork. While things may not be ideal, learning to succeed with existing resources is crucial for achieving success. Mastering the sales game. Successful sales require hard work, prospect contacts, valuable products or services, and productive follow ups. Despite knowing these fundamentals, some salespeople constantly search for new strategies. To achieve success in sales, stick to the basics and practice personal accountability every day. Avoid we they thinking. Organizations face destruction when departments indulge in we-they thinking, considering their interests separate from others. 
such siloed thinking is harmful to the overall objectives of a company. The key is to understand that everyone is on the same team and moving in the same direction, working towards a common goal. Learning is about applying what we know to the practical side of achieving the goal. If individuals forget that everyone has to play their role in achieving the set mission, the organization will fail. Avoid self-interest and consider the bigger picture, especially when faced with cross-functional friction and field versus corporate sentiments. Personal Accountability Take accountability for your actions by using first-person language and redirecting your focus towards yourself. The only person who can hold you responsible is you, not your boss, spouse, or co-workers. By controlling your thoughts and actions, you gain control over yourself and should aim the force of your efforts towards self-improvement. The Power to Change Managers often believe it is their responsibility to change their employees, but the reality is that the only person who can truly change is oneself. In order to create positive changes within an organization, individuals must first focus on changing themselves. Instead of solely looking to external factors, individuals should examine their own actions and behaviors to improve the overall effectiveness of the organization. By recognizing the power to change within ourselves, we can create a positive impact on those around us and ultimately improve the success of the organization. Building Integrity with QBQ The key to building integrity is to practice the principles you preach. People can easily detect fake integrity, so it's essential to act in harmony with your words. The QBQ question of, how can I practice the principles I espouse, serves as a guide for building or strengthening your integrity. Take action. In the QBQ, action is the third principle that encourages constructive questions. The key to making these questions effective is to use powerful active verbs that empower you to make, achieve, and build. Implementing action-oriented questions enables you to accomplish your goals and objectives. The power of action. Doing nothing can lead to stagnation and regression, while taking action can produce solutions, promote learning and development, and boost confidence. Courage fuels action, while inaction is driven by fear. It's important to choose action over inaction to avoid maintaining the status quo. The power of individual initiative. In a busy Home Depot store, cashier Judy's decision to pay for a customer's small purchase out of her purse instead of making him wait for change led to a loyal customer for life and a big account for the store. The young man was so grateful that he returned with his father, the owner of a construction company, to thank Judy. This story highlights the importance and impact of individual initiative and reminds us that taking a risk can lead to great rewards. Great leaders are grown. The ability to lead effectively does not come from position, longevity, or salary. True leaders practice personal accountability and discipline their thoughts to make a positive impact. Anyone can be a good leader, as parenthood offers the most crucial leadership role. Leaders do not solve other people's problems, but instead, help others to face challenges and find solutions. A good leader enables others to achieve their goals with humility and servant leadership. Let us lead by example and walk our talk. In conclusion, QBQ. The question behind the question emphasizes how personal accountability can create transformative change both in our workplaces and in our lives. By replacing incorrect questions IQs with more constructive QBQs, we empower ourselves and take charge of our thoughts and actions. Using a QBQ approach allows us to focus on solutions rather than dwelling on problems or worrying about external factors. Fostering personal accountability also enables us to build better relationships, understand our own potential, and practice true leadership that serves and uplifts others. By incorporating proactive questions starting with a what or how, focusing on I, and emphasizing action, we can reshape our mindset and make lasting, positive changes in our lives.